It's the fifth and final part of the highest grossing films of the 90s. This is the top 10. Here we go. Armageddon. After discovering that an asteroid the size of Texas is going to impact Earth in less than a month, NASA recruits a misfit team of deep core drillers to save the planet. Men in Black. A police officer, played by Will Smith, joins a secret organisation that polices and monitors extraterrestrial activity on planet Earth. The Lost World, Jurassic Park. A research team is sent to the Jurassic Park Site B island to study the dinosaurs, while another team approaches with another agenda. The Sixth Sense. A boy, played by Haley Joe Osmond, communicates with spirits that don't know they're dead and seeks the help of a disheartened child psychologist played by Bruce Willis. Forrest Gump Forrest Gump, played by Tom Hanks, while not intelligent, has found himself at many historic events, but his true love, Jenny Curran, played by Robin Wright, eludes him. The Lion King Lion Cub and future King Simba Searches for his identity, his eagerness to please others and pension for testing his boundaries sometimes gets him into trouble. Independence Day The aliens are coming and their goal is to invade and destroy Earth. Fighting superior technology, mankind's best weapon is the will to survive. Jurassic Park During a preview tour, the theme park suffers a major breakdown that allows its cloned dinosaur exhibit to run amok. Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace Two Jedi Knights, played by Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor, escape a hostile blockade to find allies and come across a young boy, played by Jake Lloyd, who may bring balance to the Force, but the long dormant Sith resurface to reclaim their old glory. Titanic A 17 year old aristocrat played by Kate Winslet falls in love with a kind but poor artist played by Leonardo DiCaprio aboard the luxurious, ill-fated RMS Titanic And that concludes the highest grossing films of the 90s To be fair, if you already knew that Titanic was going to be number one then fair enough but if you're watching this for the first time and you just found out Wow! 1.8 billion upon its original release. That is pretty astounding. On a personal note, I'd just like to say that I've seen 44 of the top 50 highest grossing films of the year. Um, and if I'm honest, I love quite a lot of these films, even if some of them are considered good, bad. Um, as well with Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park was the first film that I ever saw at the cinema and I was six years old at the time, I'm 28 now, and I loved every second of it, and I'll never forget the feeling of watching gigantic dinosaurs on the silver screen, it, it just completely blew my mind. Um, if, if you like Jurassic Park as well, if you like any of the films that have uh, been featured in the top 50, then cool for you, as well as cool for me for liking these films, but I do hope that you have found that this top 50 list uh, insightful, interesting and a little surprising as well seeing as for example Kevin Costner is responsible for three films that took over 400 million dollars at the global box office. I mean well done Kevin in successive years no less. Um, as well you know kudos to films like Ghost, Pretty Woman, for breaking the top 50. Good to see some good comedy films in there as well. You know, your standard action blockbuster, Independence Day, Men in Black, um, Terminator 2 as well. Uh, obviously another surprising film, Batman Forever. It's not the best Batman film, but hey, it's much better than that piece of shit that is Batman and Robin. You know, end of story. I think, actually I think pretty much all of these films are better than Batman and Robin. But anyway, I'm rambling now, so thanks for sticking by the top 50, and we'll be back soon for more random trivia.